What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today the brand new 1.28 update within Modern Warfare and Warzone went live across all platforms, which contains a really nice feature allowing us to uninstall pieces of the game to pretty much free up space for future updates, stuff like that, gonna be pretty awesome. Not gonna be talking too much about that though, but instead we're gonna be looking at some leaked information regarding the haunting of Verdansk. Now guys, I know I said this video isn't going to be about the contents inside of the update, but pretty much we also got the option to uninstall parts of the game, some Warzone weapon changes, bug fixes, etc. So if you guys want to read the full patch notes, check the description down below. But also we got the AA-12 shotgun, otherwise known as the Jack-12, but I went ahead and bought the store bundle blueprint with some COD points I had saved up. And the blueprint you get is called the Copus, and it comes with the 8 round frag 12 magazine attachment. And this thing is absolutely insane because it's going to about one to two shot kill you from an AR distance. You'll see in the gameplay here that it's crazy the shots I'm landing. And up close, just spamming this thing, super duper hard to counter that. So yeah, I haven't tried it out in Warzone just yet, but so far in multiplayer, it's extremely dominant. But guys, the Haunting of Redansk is set to come out within a six days on October the 20th which is going to be kind of like a mid-season update, I guess you can call it that, but it's mainly going to be a Halloween-themed event, which I think will only last for a couple of weeks here, maybe leading up to Black Ops Cold War, but I really don't think it's going to last that long, maybe for just a few weeks, like I said. But within this new event, it's shaping up to be one of the best Halloween events that Call of Duty has ever created. Now, if you guys don't know, we are going to be getting a really awesome zombies experience coming to Warzone because of some leaked data mine files from a couple weeks ago. Now, there are multiple modes coming in Warzone for this zombies type mode, one of which is described as a giant game of infected. So you start off with two teams, humans and zombies, and the zombies have an objective to turn all the humans into zombies. But when you're a zombie, you can actually turn back into a human again to try and win the game. So if no humans are left alive, then the zombies win. But the team that still has a survivor left wins the game. And the zombies are actually going to be getting their own custom skins, which I cannot show in this video, unfortunately, but I will leave a link down below. But the skins look really, really scary with flesh coming off. The eyes are glowing. And all of this is going to be taking place on a nighttime themed version of Verdansk. Very scary stuff. Apparently some of the zombies are going to have special abilities that will make it harder to win as a human. And I think we can get a bit of a clue about what those abilities can do based off of the leaked images. But again, if you guys want to go see that, the link's going to be down below. And also a link to hear the audio files for the game mode. Be sure to check those out if you guys really do want to. But apparently this mode is also going to have an easter egg tied to it. Now, I don't know what the heck this easter egg could entail for us. Maybe it could connect Black Ops Cold War zombies together somehow. I don't know. But yeah, I cannot wait to see what more information we get on that. But a part of me thinks that maybe after completing this easter egg, we can get access to that leaked saw and Leatherface bundle, which Prototype Warehouse originally leaked. But as for the saw bundle, it's going to be coming out with a playable Billy the Puppet Operator, which I'll have a look down below what it looks like. Very authentic to the movie as well. It looks very scary, I'll be honest. Also, we're going to be getting a throwing knife skin called the Phlebotomus. But now as for the Leatherface bundle, I imagine it's going to be something similar where we can play as Leatherface for an operator. Maybe there's going to be some type of a chainsaw melee weapon. I don't know. But yeah, it's going to be pretty sick, guys. I just think it's so, so cool that Activision was actually able to get approval to use two of the most authentic and iconic horror characters inside of Call of Duty. Very, very cool stuff. Also, for some reason, there is a version of Alcatraz from Blackout coming. It's not the same exact Alcatraz from Blackout and Call of Duty Zombies, but to me, it looks like some kind of a rundown Russian factory of some sorts. But the layout does look exactly the same, so maybe this could be a brand new location coming, and this will slowly start the transfer process over from a Modern Warfare Warzone to Black Ops Cold War Warzone. It's all still very confusing and odd to be honest, but still super duper exciting. And then lastly, there is going to be a bunch of jump scares scattered all throughout Verdansk when the haunting of Verdansk is here. If you guys want to go see some of the data mine jump scares, BK Tor was actually able to get footage of them. I cannot wait to see the reaction from players when they finally do get hit with these jump scares. I was already freaking on the verge of excreting every bodily fluid imaginable when I got scared from that weird laughter by Stadium. 
and a lot of other players seem to have the same reaction as well. I love jump scares in movies so much, it's really hard to make me scared, but that weird laughter honestly gave me chills. I never had that happen to me before. I hope you are just as excited as I am for The Haunting of Verdansk coming on October the 20th. Please tell me your thoughts about all this spooky Warzone content down below. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more, feel free to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can't miss out on a single video. Also, feel free to come hang out with me in my Discord server, Twitch stream, and over on Twitter. Links can be found down below. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.